So FYI, guys, I'll be streaming for about one more hour of Minecraft tonight. Thanks to those who are here hanging with me. And thanks to those who've contributed. It's been very slow contributions, but just saying, uh, you know, another hour left here. Maybe that'll change. Boop, boop. Okay. What would you guys like to see me do next? And if you say the nether, I'm going to ignore you. I am going to eventually go back to the nether, like I said, but it's going to be more about preparation, I think, than anything else. Okay. Derek says, what are your five favorite toys from Toy Story? Oh, my God. I don't, I don't rank stuff like that, Derek. I've told you. I don't really rank toys. I don't rank anything like that. I don't have, like, a top ten list of shit. Is that rain? What's that noise? No. I don't know what it was. But see, look how good this is. I can just run right up. I'm not going to fall. I can run all the way up the staircase. That's why I'm doing this. Okay. It's supposed to be that torch. I'm really close to the torch, right? I am playing Apex on Thursday. Thursday, everybody. Because tomorrow's my day off. So I'm playing it Thursday. So what that means is not tonight. Not tomorrow. The day after. Thursday. That would be the day between Wednesday and Friday. That's the day that's slightly halfway through the week. But it's further than that. It's the day, <laughs> the day before the weekend. Uh, let's see, what else is it? What else can I say to describe Thursday so you guys understand it? Thursday. Some people are a little slow. They're not getting it. I'm about to be out of cobblestone. I got close. I'm close, look. I'm like real close, so I gotta go get more cobblestone. Damn it. Oh, 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 hurry. Oh, God. Down the fucking spiral staircase. There we go. Oh, it's raining. It's fucking raining. You know what time it is, folks. You know what time it is. Whoa. Ah, charge. Huh. Fucking charge. Ah! It's time. Oh, what am I making? Asked Derek. I was making a spiral staircase. But for now, it's fishing time, baby. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's fish. Let's get levels, baby. Maybe I can get like 30 or 40, and then maybe I can finally enchant something. <laughs> BTK Load just did a dollar and 11 bit. Oh, shit. Dollar and 11 cent tip and says, I am so fucking retarded. The oldest joke in the book. Excuse me. Mr. Papa Vera just cheered. He said, you can try hunting for slime balls. That's something you can find in the swamp biome from slimes. Uh, at night, usually the other way is in the jungle biome. Um, with pandas. The slime ball is something you would need if you want to do the roof thing with a lighthouse. I didn't even have a chance to look at your roof thing. I was looking at your spiral staircase and some of your advice about the nether. I did not even look at the thing you said about to build the roof of the lighthouse yet. But you're right, I should probably try... Oh, shit, I should probably try to get it. I should probably try to get one of every element, right? And I don't have slime balls at all yet, so... All right. I hope Kat's doing good. We never hear much about her, says Golden Cult. She is doing good. In fact, today was her first day off from work in a while. She gets a bunch of days off, which is great. Today, she spent the day doing stuff like cleaning the house, but also she's playing games and doing things. And then um, tomorrow, we're going to be out... Doing stuff together all day. We're going to get our hair cut and do various things. And uh, actually tomorrow, I forgot to mention this. Oh my God, I can't, I can't believe I completely forgot to mention this. Tomorrow we're going to do the ingredients. Thursday, when I'm playing Apex Legends, it will be a saucy Thursday. 
That means during the course of my Apex Legends stream, I will be making a pot of Italian sauce. So between every match or two, I'll have to go downstairs and stir and season the sauce. I can't believe I forgot to mention Saucy Thursday. That's right. A new fresh pot of Italian sauce must be made. I haven't made it in months. Like over two months, I think. So new sauce on Thursday. We're actually going to be doing something... Um, Doing something a little bit more interesting with the sauce this time. Normally, I make uh, meatballs out of red meat, handmade meatballs. Cam wants to try something healthier, so we're going to try to find chicken sausages. And we're going to try chicken sausage grinders and see how that turns out. So that's going to be something different for Thursday. Should be good. But anyway, yeah, so Thursday, saucy Thursday. That means the stream will start a little bit later than usual because we need to get the pot of sauce uh, going. But typically, I, I'll uh, have it go into like f between 4 and 5, I think. It depends on when it actually gets started. So, I may be streaming a little bit later, but going a little bit later as well for that Apex Legends stream on Thursday, okay? Okay. I know I'm not doing it to piss people off who wanted to see Apex Legends, just that... I ate a raw card! Oh! I just ate a raw cod. Ugh, fuck. But anyway, no, like, we needed to make a pot of sauce. We've been out. We haven't had sauce in over three weeks, I think. So we haven't even been able to make my pasta or nothing. We're not going to go buy store-made sauce. Fuck that. We don't eat that swill. We have to eat good stuff. We have to make good, high-quality, homemade sauce. So we've been looking for an opportunity to do so. And finally, we're going to have it this Thursday. So there you go. Come on, levels. Come on, experience. Come on, man. Bullshit. Come on, give me some good stuff. So far, I'm only getting like shitty fish. I got one bow, but I don't know what it is. Prego is the best sauce. Prego ain't bad. Ugh. I mean, not to say that they're horrible, but like store-made store sauces are just so different from something that's been homemade, slow, simmered all day and is fresh. You know what I mean? Like, my sauce is not canned. My sauce, I make it fresh, eat it then, then I refrigerate it, freeze it, and thaw it out the day I'm going to eat it. So it's fre way fresher than something that's been pressurized and put into a jar for a million years. <laughs> Okay. Mr. Bob Bavaris is just like Gollum. He eats the fish raw and wiggling. Swaggin says, I would rather watch you stir the sauce over watching another Kingdom Hearts 3 stream. Don't worry, Kingdom Hearts 3 is over. Kingdom Hearts 3 is done and over. I don't have to deal with that boring shit anymore. <sighs> Derek says three favorite worlds of Kingdom Hearts 3 were Toy Story, Winnie the Pooh, and Frozen. For me, it was, I'd probably say Toy Story was the best. Well, Big Hero 6 I liked a lot, too, so probably those are the top two for me. And then I liked... Uh, Pirates would probably be third. Outside of that, I didn't really like any of the other worlds, honestly. Yes, Winnie the Pooh was a Kingdom Hearts 3, but it was very short. A very short segment with him in it. Alright, so the Butt Muncher has sent me a dollar fifty. He says, please consider playing Wander Song on one of your off offline streams uh, when you get the chance to. You can try considering playing the game in the summer when there's not a lot of new games. I'm happy to support you. Alright, thank you, Butt Muncher, for the tip. 
So actually, Boat Muncher is the top tipper of the night. I'll get him up on the leaderboard after I've done fishing. Super Flash Jay said, Phil, you should bottle yourself to sell it to make money on the side. It's not economically feasible, my friend. The only way you can make sauce and make a profit is if you can make it in ginormous batches and you have a pressurized thing to, to make it airtight, seal, and you have advertising and a distribution. I have none of that. You don't know what you're talking about. There'd be no way I could sell the sauce. Yeah, I know, it was so weird that Winnie the Pooh had no Eeyore, no Owl, no Ka Kanga, but instead had a weird fucking elephant. It's like, it didn't make any sense. Who the fuck was the elephant? Yeah, half the classic characters are missing. What was that? The Hopper wants to know if I finished the Steely. The Steelies were all left in Assassin's Creed. <laughs> the silly Steelies. Crafting's going good, Emperor Dog. So far tonight, I uh, visited the t the uh, villagers, and I've improved my staircase and my tower. And now I'm fishing. After this, I'll probably try to get more cobblestone to finish the staircase. Uh, yes, Mister Papa Bear. I saw the zombie that walked past me. I'm ignoring you. As you can see, he couldn't do anything. He couldn't hit me. Damn, I'm getting, like, no good items. None. Just stupid fish. A million fish. Ugh. SSJ887 cheered. He said, saucy. Then he cheered again. He said, notice we senpai. Kingdom King cheered and said, are you aware of the detractor meme when you say, oh, no, nope, because I don't listen to detractor memes because I have a brain in my head. I'm not a complete asshole. <laughs> okay. Another, wow, I got like three or four bows. Because I'm not making the handmade meatballs and we're just going to be doing chicken sausage, it shouldn't take as long to make the sauce on Thursday. Because typically to make the meatballs actually takes about a half hour because you need to get the meat, you need to get eggs and all the ingredients, roll them together and hand make them all so it takes some prep work. And I'm not going to have to do that. I'll be able to skip... Right to the step of making the meat, the uh, the pork base, the pork fat base, and then frying the sausage. And also frying the sausage is easier than frying the meatballs because um, you only need to rotate them a little bit because they're already pre-cooked. Most sausage when you buy them versus when you buy um, when you buy the meatballs would be raw. I guess I'll have to see what kind of sausage I can find. If I find raw chicken sausage, it'll take a little bit longer to cook. Pre-cooked though will be like super easy. So I guess I'll see what we're gonna find tomorrow while we're out. But anyway, the reason I'm telling you this is because I probably wouldn't take as long. Typically, it takes me about an hour to an hour and a half to get the sauce going. But it shouldn't actually take me that long uh, to get that going on Thursday. Maybe an hour tops. I guess we'll see. Kingdom King asks, are there any updates on the tax situation? What exactly update would you like on the tax situation? Why don't you clarify for me what information you're looking for, Kingdom King? And then I'll answer you. All right? You tell me what kind of info do you want, and then I'll tell you if it's available. So go ahead. Neon Worms is complaining that he's on a chill Minecraft stream when I'm talking about my sauce. He's bored of hearing about the sauce. Just because of that, all I'm going to talk about for the next... 30, 40 minutes is my sauce. So there you go. What happened? That was weird. Okay. Do I believe Steve Jobs is resolution revolutionary? I have no idea. I honestly don't know much about the guy.
Kogoichi Chiri said shout out to Cam, the comedy man who is making meatballs on Thursday. I'm not making meatballs, though. He says he's also making them. I'm not making them. I'm not making the meatballs this time. As I just explained. Yeah, I know. Every time I do this, I end up with a ridiculous amount of fish. I love. I, sometimes I get lucky and I pull the enchantment books right out of the water, but I'm not getting anything good this time. I got a few, a few bows. I think I got one fishing rod, but no enchantment books, which is really what I want when I'm doing this. I'm primarily doing this for experience and for enchantment books. SSJ887 just took me $5 and said, Recipe for the sauce. Let's go, my dude. I've already given the recipe out publicly years and years ago, but that was a long time ago. Maybe eventually I would make another video of it, but for now, no plans to do that. Sorry. Sorry. Golden Noble says he's jealous about all the rain I get. Yeah, I guess in his Minecraft game, he barely gets any. It's because, I guess because the world I'm in, the world gets rain like every other day or whatever, which is great. But in his world, apparently he doesn't get much at all. I guess it's just random. A random look that this happens for me. La 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 Timbo's offering a million dollars for the sauce. <laughs> Timbo, I'm pretty sure you don't have a million dollars to buy the sauce, I'm just saying. What? SSJ887 says just name it out on stream quick like name what out? What are you talking about? Name what out? Once the rain stops, then I'll get you up on the leaderboard, SSJ. You are the top tipper of the night. I'll also update the top tips, because I think we've gone up by about six or seven bucks. Something like that. More fishing. More friggin' fishing. Oh, the ingredients for the sauce? It's not complicated. You need San Marzano Italian tomatoes, peeled. You need just some tomato paste. I used to get an Italian-style tomato paste from Italian tomatoes, but they don't have it out here in California. Or California. They don't have it out here in Washington. So I can't get it here anymore. So I have to use, like, generic tomato paste. It's just sugar... Uh, a lot of spices like garlic and garlic salt, onions, um, uh, pepper, um, obviously kinds of cheese like mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese. Um, what else is in my sauce? Let me think about this. A bay, bay leaf. Um, you don't leave that in there, but you put it in there for flavor when it simmers. And a lot of things, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff goes into it. What's my opinion on Spongebob? Uh, Spongebob being in the Super Bowl halftime show? I don't know anything about it. I don't even know why it was there. I don't know what the controversy was. ITG Jake is being a snob and saying, how can I call my, my sauce fresh when there's canned tomatoes? Ladies and gentlemen, I've explained this many times. I'll explain it again. If there was a farmer's market near me that actually sold Italian-style tomatoes, which they don't do out here in Washington State... I would go get San Marzano Italian tomatoes fresh, and I would hand hand skin them and do it. As it is, I hand grind them. I have a grinder, actual food mill, that I grind the peeled canned tomatoes to get it to a good consistency for the sauce. All right? There's no one around here that sells fresh San Marzano tomatoes. You have to get them canned. It's the best you can do. So, you know, you have to do the best you can do. If they're, like I said, if I lived in Italy, yeah, I'd use fresh Italian tomatoes. They don't exist here in the United States. You have to get canned tomatoes and you have to cut corners. There's nothing you can do about it. Like I said, if I get the Italian-style authentic Italian tomato paste for the sauce, I would do it. It doesn't exist. You can't get it. So I have to go make do with what I've got. 
it's still a hell of a lot fresher than anything you buy at the store and a hell of a lot fresher than anything more than likely you get at a lot of restaurants. Although I know there are authentic restaurants out there that make their own sauce from scratch. They'll probably have the absolute utmost best you can get. But mine's pretty damn good. SSJ87 now did a $6 tip. Thank you, SSJ. It says, here we go. Someone asked what the ingredients are. That's what I wanted to know. I haven't watched you long. What happened to your BMW? That car's been gone for years, dude. You're way behind the times. I got rid of that shit two years ago. I couldn't afford it. The lease ran out, and I said, fuck this. I'm not renewing it. I don't even want it. Get out of here. And I got a much more economical car. And the bottom line is I never used any of the features of the BMW anyway. It was pretty much a huge waste of money. Uh, the only thing I liked about it, it had the best brakes of any car I've ever driven. Outside of that, really didn't give me any other benefits, so. Okay. Phil, do I read chat? Yes, I do. Christian Anthony just cheered. He says, I'm loving the Minecraft streams. I love the Minecraft streams, too. I love when it rains, because then I get like 10, 15 minutes to just talk with you guys. Huh. <laughs> Level 28, almost getting 10 levels. Uh, excuse me. I told you, Jake, you're not treading on thin ice. What are you talking about? He says, man, I said one thing about your sauce, and I'm treading on thin ice. No, you're not. You're fine. EC3 just sent me a dollar. He says, DSP, I am EC3, the top 1%. I'm changing the game of the future main event on Monday Night Raw. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm enjoying your Minecraft stream. I must say you're in the top 1% changing the game. Keep it up and you'll be like me. Yes. Alright, so that goes away. Look at all the shit I got. Eh. Nothing too good. Nothing too good, honestly. Kind of lame. Lame items, but good experience, so that's all good. And I'll cook all this fish to get experience points. Okay. Yes, I will update the leaderboard. Hold on. Relax. I'm going to update the leaderboard. I will. I swear I will. This. Cooked cat is what I'm keeping to eat. Okay. Running out of space. I'm going to have to start making new chests soon. This one's almost full. Oh, shit. I got another bow I didn't put away. More cobblestone. I need that. That's it. I'm going to have to go mine more cobblestone again. God damn it. How do I always run out of stone in the middle of doing stuff? Where does leather go? I guess leather goes in here. I put it in there before. I don't think it's supposed to, though. That's not food. Here we go. 
Oh, wait, I got bowls, don't I? Three random ass bowls I just found sitting around. And his bow. Okay. So, shout out to SSJ, who did a 300 bit cheer, said, What a rule of life that you live by. So, SSJ is the top cheerer right now. Let's get him up on the, on the leaderboard. There you go. And SSJ is also the top tipper, six dollar tip. So SSJ, the MVP contributor tonight for sure. Um, we're now up. I believe that's like another fifteen dollars in tips almost. So I'm gonna update that. We're eighty nine. And Plazat5 tipped me a dollar. Thank you, Plazat5, for the tip as well. So I think that's accurate. Okay. So. food to eat when I'm doing stuff. So I think I need to, uh, I need to go get more cobblestone. My pickaxe is almost depleted. Maybe I should just make a, an iron pickaxe so that way I don't fuck up and get rid of my diamond pickaxe. Especially because I'm just getting cobblestone. Yeah, let me make one or two pickaxes. Very exciting to be yet, well, yet again getting more cobblestone. <laughs> and I haven't done this a hundred times. Why well, was when the goal is hit? I do a celebratory dab, and we're all happy that it helps me to pay my friggin' bills for this month. That's what happens. Because right now, things are not looking good financially at all for me. Um, I get the feeling I'm going to not be able to pay bills. I don't know. I don't know if my bank account's going to allow me to overdraft. Because if I can't pay certain bills, that's bad stuff like electricity internet um if i default on loans that i have if i don't pay my credit cards all those things are going to hurt me tremendously so oh by the way on the 15th i need to buy three fucking video games which i don't know how the hell i'm going to do so that's why I'm, I'm appreciative of you guys being supportive and i hope people take it seriously that i really need help right now it sucks Cobblestone out the ass, right? What games will I be buying? Crackdown 3. Um, what's it? Crackdown 3. Uh, Metro Exodus, right? And what's the other one? Oh, Jump Force. Jump Force. I think this should be enough. Okay. Ugh. All right. Don't buy Crackdown 3. Get it via Game Pass. I'm going to. Are these $10? Yeah, so I'll get it via Microsoft Game Pass. Look what I built. All right, I think I have enough now. Wait, do I have to sleep? I have to sleep. Okay. I think I have enough now to finish my staircase. Josh Hushel of Cigar says, Pre-release Crackdown 3 reviewers are saying that it's a broken mess. Well, I guess good thing that I'm not paying full price for it then. Oh. 
Oh, uh, yes, my video games are deductibles, Omen Houdini. That is correct. They are. They're tax deductibles because any game I buy is a part of my business because I, you know, every game I play is for a stream or for a YouTube video or both. And they make me money and therefore they are part of the business and they're a tax write off. That is correct. Alright. Wait, what? Wait, what the fuck? What did I do? Wait a minute. I... F huh? What the fuck? I fucked that up. The wall's supposed to be here. <laughs> I can't put a wall there, but that's okay. The wall's right there. Yep. Oh, uh, let's see. JT Hit to the $7 tip. That makes JT Hit the top tipper of the night. Let's get JT Hit up there. Thank you very much for the $7 tip and the top tipper. Then... SSJ to be four bucks and asking me about my finances. He said he wants to help me with donations and cheering and stuff on the regular. Well, the bottom line is that every month is different. Like, for example, some months are better than others. And it depends all on how things go on streams. Like, people don't realize the big impact that, like... Oh, God, I fucked that up. The big impact that these things have. You know, one month, streams could go really good. YouTube could go good. And if that's the case, then, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Just so happens right now, it's been really tight recently because a few factors. You know, number one, I just had the worst month of YouTube ever. And that's not an exaggeration. It really was the worst month I've ever had on YouTube. Um, and that, I'm going to get that income soon, but it's going to be very little compared to what I usually make. Number two, I should eat something. Number two, during the holiday gaming season, I almost always have, actually, I take it back. I always had made more money. Every holiday gaming season, because there's more games out and the like, this year's the first year I made only the same amount as I was making before. Like, I actually saw zero increase in what I was doing um, on YouTube at all. Like, it was basically the same as usual, which sucks because I always get that nice big holiday boost, and I got nothing this year. So, here I am trying to make ends meet. At the end of the year, I get a lot of extra bills. I get a sewer tax bill. I get my state tax bill. I get all these bills that are out of the normal that normally I wouldn't have to pay monthly. I get them all at the end of the year, and I didn't get any of the increased income that I usually get at the end of the year to help pay them. So it sucked. It all hit me. I'm like, fuck, where's this money going to come from? So that's the situation I'm in right now. Like, the past two months have been really dire, where I like, have almost no money. If, if, if that, because, like, I overdraw my account, then I have to pay it back later on, right? So... Uh, right now, things suck. I, I have no money. Like, I have to... I, all the money I'm getting right now for your tips and everything, I have to get it right back into the account, right back into the account, right back into the account to try to pay, make ends meet and pay everything. Now, the good news is that I got a lot of gifted subs in December from a certain person named Emerald7, and those I'm going to get paid for around the middle of this month. It's supposed to be the 15th. It comes, but then it takes a day or two to, to, to clear into my account. Once that comes, I'm okay for a little bit. But a lot of that money is going to have to go towards my federal taxes, which I can't even afford right now. You know, I don't even know where that money is going to come from. So, the truth of the matter here is, I fucked that up. Short term, I'll be alright, but then once the tax issue comes up, which has to be paid by April, again, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, I'm really nervous about the future. So, I guess we're going to see what happens, but right now, uh, it's not looking so hot. Okay, let's just be me being honest. Here we go. Boom. Alright, so now that's protected. You know what I'd like to do is build enough of the wall to put around the edge here so I don't fucking fall here, right? So when I come up, I won't fall there. I'll just come this way. Now this I can't. 
Maybe eventually I could build something, but here I can't. It's too close to the edge. My tower's pretty cool, right? Alright, so anyway, that was answering SSJ's question. So that was another $11 in tips, so now we're up to $100 in tips today. Thank you, everybody. That's really great, because that's no lie. Gonna go straight to the bank account to pay bills. And now tomorrow I won't be streaming. That's a day where I make zero goose egg. So hopefully when I come back on Thursday, I'll come back strong. People will be supportive again. You see what I mean? I keep it going, then it'll work. Um, Swag is shooting. said, you just finished a weave game. Are you sure playing Jump Force is going to be good? The game doesn't look like it has that much substance. We'll see. We'll see. I think at least it's good for playing through whatever the story the game is going to have. And also, you know, it's good to have that initial appeal of playing as all these different manga slash anime characters, you know, duking it out with each other or whatever. So I know it will have some appeal. Will have longer, la long lasting appeal. That's really going to determine on how good the gameplay is. Is the gameplay to the point where it feels competitive and where it really feels like it's something you want to. What the fuck? Oh, shit. This doesn't work. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. It does work. Because the freaking. The fence stay. Or the wall stays there. So look at that. Now I can go down. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, I cheaped out on that one, but it worked. But anyway, yeah, we don't know uh, how Jump Force is going to be. We'll see long term, I guess. SSJ done dude a 400 bit cheer. I said thanks for the honesty. Yeah, dude, I am uh, always honest. Like I always try to pride myself on being as honest as I can be. The people who say you know say I'm dishonest are people who just don't want to believe what I tell them because they don't like me. They want to believe that the reasons for things that happen to me are all because I'm a horrible person and I mean terrible judgment. Not that years of abuse, years of people fucking with me, years of just horrible things happening that screw me over financially are the reason why I am where I am. I admit when I moved out here, I overspent. That's different than, you know, oh, if I had made as much money as I was making for a while, which I should have instead of people trolling me and destroying my YouTube channels and taking away all these opportunities when we lose my partnerships and shit. If any of that never happened, I'd be fine. I'm being very honest with you. Like, as of a couple of years ago, things were good. And then, of course... The other thing that screwed me over was the tax situation, the state taxes in 2017, where I found out that, oh, I owe state taxes now, even though the person who I was paying thousands of dollars a year to do my taxes never told me I needed to pay any state tax when I lived out here in Washington. He'd been doing my taxes wrong for years and fucked me over in that regard, too. So you see what I mean? Like, it's just so many factors going into me being in the situation I'm in, and no way could anyone have foreseen all these factors. No fucking way. Um... But the bottom line is the people who like to say, oh, Phil's dishonest or whatever, the people who just don't want to believe that, you know, because just because they don't like me, the way that I make content or something I've done over the years irked them the wrong way, they don't actually want to believe that what I tell them could possibly be true and that, wow, Phil is actually wasn't 100% at fault for everything that ever happened to him, that actually there were shitty circumstances and stuff that happened, and you know, and then they want to say stupid shit like Phil should just get a oh, job. This is my job. I, get, I make more money streaming than I've done doing every job I've ever do, had and if I were to quit this to go do something else I'd make far less money so the stupid idiots saying stuff like oh just quit this and go get a, a, another job are morons they're telling me to quit the job that makes the most money to, to get a job that pays less like that's going to solve my financial problems they're not very fucking smart okay Kevin Mickleroy I feel you I feel you I spend all my money on festivals well I don't think I've ever spent any of my money on a festival <laughs> I don't even know what that, a festival I don't know if I've ever been to an official festival before, actually. I guess I'll just put the sticks away here. All right. All right, well, got a lot done so far tonight. Oh, uh, the 500K did a 250-bit cheers. I wish you all the best. Thank you, 500K. I appreciate that. Um... Papa Bear said, I removed the cobble blocks at the corners of the glass. You can mix using cobblestone wall blocks and iron bars as rails all right let's not worry about that tonight let's let's refine i agree the top of the tower is a little ugly let's figure that out let's do that a different night i don't think i want to do that right now <laughs> dread from the farms that's i've ever been to a pax convention nope nope oh he means music festivals ah i go to a music fest listen to a bunch of bands Buying some merch, hanging out with people. I get that. That could be cool. Especially if you're really heavily into music, which I've never been. So I'd be like the person who probably wouldn't 
want to do something like that, but I can under definitely understand why people would want to. Alright. Uh, hmm. I've only got about 15 minutes left for tonight's stream, and I'm debating what I should do. What should I do with the time that I got left? See you later, Derek. Have a good night, man. You as well, Tanya Raven. Have a good night. Want to make an auto smelter. What is an auto smelter? These are the smelters, right? No, it's a furnace. What's a smelter? I don't even know what a smelter is. <laughs> Looks like I had to sleep again. Kevin Micklework says he shits his pants at every festival. Shrooms are crazy when the music is bumping. Uh. Oh, Mr. Papa Verse, he tweeted me pictures of this auto smelter. Oh, yeah. See you later, Timbo. Have a good night, man. Oh, uh, boy. I'm sure we can find this. Uh, okay, so how do I do this? I gotta go to my profile and then to likes. Here we go. Auto smelter. Here it is. What in the holy hell is this? Few ways hoppers can be used an example of an auto smelter. You'll need to craft several hoppers and we'll need a few chests and at least one furnace. With the redstone machines, I try to give you small examples so you don't have to keep with them. I'm not suggesting to replace anything you already built. I still think it's a good idea to make them. A place a chest, crouch, place a hopper on top. Press B to drop any single item on top of the hopper. Look in the chest. So basically, if you make these hopper, this is like a funnel, right? So you could just drop an item right into it and it'll automatically do it for you. You don't have to go in and fuck with it. It'll just go zoop, suck it in and do it. That's interesting. Oh my god, this is complicated. So basically what he's doing, I, I don't know if I can show you guys the picture. You're probably not going to be able to see it. Let me show you here. Four different kinds of auto smelter, okay, or auto furnace. There's one that basically you just put an item right into a, bo a box automatically. There's one to do a furnace automatically. And then there's ones you can build. So once it's done, it automatically goes right into a chest. So it would be like... Oh, I just tossed some items into there. Oh, it automatically cooked them and tossed them into a chest for me. And then apparently there's a way to do ones with multiple chests so it'll actually sort different chests and stuff, which is pretty crazy. Huh. Jay hit to me another $3. Thank you, Jay hit. He says, why do you disable comments on all your videos? Too many trolls? Yeah, here's the thing. I started YouTube in 2008. Back then, YouTube was a much different place. YouTube was like very exciting. You'd post up a video, people would be putting up comments like, wow, this is great. You know, what do you think about this game? Wow, you did good in this. Would you play this game? It was a very positive place for interactions and fun. Then I'd say about 2012, people on YouTube started hating me because I used a camera to record instead of direct capture because I was the guy who rushed through games, didn't really care about doing professional playthroughs. I was just kind of a raw kind of a guy 
who when you saw me play a game, it was just kind of very different from other YouTubers. And they didn't like that. Oh, it's low effort. And they started making fun of me. They started making videos, making fun of me and everything. And I became like the laughing stock of YouTube for like two, three years. No lie. All right. Then probably I'd say 2016, 2017 started to die out and to the point where really it's not that popular to do it anymore. But sadly, what ended up happening was people would, would actually go to my videos to say nasty things in the comments just for the sake of it. Because then other people would make a video just like showing the comments of the video, how nasty they were. And then applying them to like me f doing something bad in a gameplay video. So it'd be like, oh, look, here's Phil Philly, Metal Gear Solid. Let's go to the comments. And they go down there and it'd be something like, Phil's a rap bastard piece of shit. Phil's the worst gamer on the planet. It was like the worst stuff. And it, basically people who were longtime viewers of mine got so fed up with it. And in 2017, they actually said, Phil, we'd much rather actually just have you turn comments off forever. Because the comments in 95% is just assholes trying to get noticed in a negative video made about you. Rather than uh, us who want to legitimately talk can't even do it. it. You can't even make our legitimate positive comments out. So I turned them off. And quite frankly, it didn't hurt a thing. Most people who are positive and like my stuff will find another way to discuss it. Whether it's coming to my Twitter, whether it's coming to a live stream and hanging out with me here, my forums. They have other methods that they can discuss my content. And they don't have to fucking, you know, sit there and, sh and deal with all the people shitting on it constantly. So that's why I turned it off. <laughs> Absolutely, it's a bandwagon mentality, uh, your boy Jermaine. That's exactly what it is for weak-minded people. They see, oh, look. Someone made a video and got like, a, a you know, 100,000 views making fun of Phil. That means I could do the same thing. And of course, I'll be completely unfair. And I'll completely cut out all the reality of what Phil's videos are. And instead, we'll just put in the negative shit or the moments of weakness or I'll edit it to make him look bad. And that way, I'll get 100,000 views too. And that's what it became. It's like people just wanted to get popular on YouTube for making fun of me. And then they would just spam my videos with disgusting negative comments to the point where no one could even talk on my videos anymore. And I said, enough is enough. And that, that was, it was actually 2017, early 2017, I became a full-time streamer where all I do now is focus on streaming. I don't really care about YouTube videos anymore. YouTube is an archive of what I do here. So I basically stopped caring about that shit. And then later in the year, people were like, Phil, just get rid of the comments on YouTube. And I said, fine. And I did. I turned them off and it didn't really negatively affect anything. So, so um, let's see here. Princess Tweety has subscribed for the fifth one. Then I wrote, thank you, Princess Tweety. SSJ to me three dollars. Well, actually, J hit said, uh, "That's a shame. I hope that stuff didn't make you feel bad or depressed." Listen, all I can say is this: is that it sucks when it happens. Okay, it absolutely does, um, and it sucks to especially those who are longtime viewers and fans of mine who genuinely like my stuff. And they just want to hang out and have fun, and they can't because they got to be harassed and they got to be treated like shit. And you know, they 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 want to go have a fun, positive discussion. They got to see all these negative dickheads just trying to get attention for themselves because they're a bunch of fucking no lifes. Um, it sucks. It really does. And I feel bad, but I can't control that, right? There's nothing I can do about it. Um, but no, did I get depressed? No, you know what I did? I motivated myself to do something better. So I came, I came over to Twitch and now Twitch, you can actually control everything over here. The streams are great, you know, rather than, oh man, they ruined something. And I'm going to be like, no, fuck that. I'll, I'll focus on the positive thing that I could still do. Even if I can't do that old thing, like like have fun YouTube comments anymore, I can still have positive fun stuff. You know what I mean? By the way, I have no idea how to make a hopper. Anyone know how to make a hot this hopper thing? Uh, I, I don't know what ingredients I need to make. I don't even know what it is. SSJ uh, tipped me and said, "Can I tell a troll story? End of stream story time." Nah, I don't have any. I don't have any. Really want to talk about the trolls, man? I'm tired of it. I already talked about it a bunch. I'm fucking tired of talking about it. Iron and a cha chest will craft a hopper. So for a chest, I need wood, don't I? Which I don't have. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. Uh. Fuck, I crafted pants by accident. The hopper. Crafted two hoppers. You need like three or four, right? As this J Cheer said, fair enough story time another day. The hopper. So 
Hmm. I also need a furnace, right? So let's see, how can I set this up? So it looks like a chest, next to the chest is a hopper, then a furnace on top, and then a, oh my god, what a layout. What a layout this is. Okay, let's try this. <clears throat> okay, that worked. Now I gotta place the furnace on top of the... Oh, fuck! Place the furnace on top of the hopper. Okay. That worked. Right? Now place a hopper on top of the furnace. Now load the furnace with coal, but I can't. Oh no! My house isn't tall enough to do it! Oh no! Oh no! Fucking shitty dicks. <sighs> Alright, this is Jay. Thank you for the final cheers. Have a good night. See you Thursday. Let me sleep. I'll try to figure this out. I got like a five minutes left to figure this out. What if I dig the ground out from under it? It'll probably still float, right? It's not gonna. It's not gonna dip. Make a hole so I can load up from the second floor. Then I would have to always go to the second floor to do this. Like I'd have to do this. Right? The hole would be like over here. Haha! <laughs> so I have to run upstairs to drop shit in here. Uh, I guess I could do that. Why not build a basement with a hole in the floor? Mm. Papa Vera says if I have other chests, I can connect other chests to this furnace and it'll end up lasting a long time. Hmm. Only thing is I'm concerned now. If I come up here, I'm concerned this stuff's gonna go wrong. I don't know. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. How did I get this? I don't even know how I got a cobblestone slab. 
Bulletproof says, do you think Xbox Live coming to the Switch and mobile is a good idea? I don't even understand how that's going to work. Like, I saw that on Twitter. I was like, how the fuck is that going to work? I think the reason it's coming to Switch is because Switch needs voice chat really bad. And it doesn't have it. Or they might they use a third-party app on your phone that sucks monkey ass. So I think that the reason they're doing it is they want to have voice chat on the Switch without them actually working on it or putting any significant time and effort into it. So I think that that's why they're implementing it the way that they're doing it. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to save. And what we'll do next time, we'll try to figure out how do I want to do this. Do I want to destroy that and make it maybe dig a little bit in my house and make that, that thing go down a level so that it fits in there? Do I want to do keep it like this but maybe build something up here to protect this so it's not exposed? And then I can come up here and drop shit in whenever I want to uh, smelt stuff? I don't know. I'll, let's, I'll think about it. But And then what I'm going to do is save my game. We had good progress tonight. Thanks to everyone who helped. Thanks to everyone who contributed, cheered something, and tipping. And we'll try to figure this out next time. Very nice.